course we had a gas, you guys. Going on YouTube, I am back with another video. And you can see I don't have the beast behind me anymore, you guys. I have a 2020 white Dodge Charger, you guys. Yes, we're taking delivery of a 2020 Dodge Charger. Yes, this is a 6.4 scat pack wide body. Now, if you know, you know. If you know me, you know whose car this is, you guys. Yes, this is my girl's car. Yes, it used to be pink and white, but we're moving from that and we're about to go crazy. Um, so am I taking delivery of it? Eh, is it new to me? Yeah. Um, does she know all the things that I'm about to do to it? No. Um, but you guys are going to stay tuned and obviously follow the channel to see what all is going to be done to this car. If you're new to the channel, everything, thir everything 1320 happens right here. Check out some of my old racing videos. And of course, stay tuned for what is going on with Toro. All right, you guys. Again, we have a 2020 Dodge Charger wide body scat pack. Now, if you're a fan of detail, you can see there is pink brakes in the rear and white brakes in the front. This car used to be a faded wrap, just like Toro. Now, we're not gonna discuss who did it first, all that good stuff. It is what it is, right? Um, but you can see the wide body charger is one of my favorite looks, especially how aggressive it actually looks. Now, if you guys didn't know, 2020 was the year that they started putting wide bodies on scat packs and everything else from red eyes, Hellcats, wide body scat packs, all that good stuff. Um, so this is the first year of this model and it is in white. If you guys know, I actually like my cars to be black, but before all of my cars were black, all of my cars were white. Um, so I'm actually a fan of this car in all white. Um, the only thing I don't like is the style of rims that Dodge puts on these scat packs, but it is what it, it is what it is. Sorry. <clears throat> terrible lingo today what is going on it's been a minute since i've done youtube i guess i gotta get it back together but outside of that let's dive into the car and let's Here's see what real going question on. how clean do you think she keeps her car one two how clean do you think her engine bay is let's figure all out. right you guys yes it is a stock 6.4 392 motor the only thing she has is a different uh filter it's a K&N filter everything else is a stock car yes i cleaned the car now what's crazy is i got it washed literally yesterday and then of course it rained and then of course the tire dressing etc gets all over the white paint but whatever right now how clean do you think she keeps the inside now i have been driving in the last two days so let me let me not let me not do her dirty but you can see the car stays the car stays pretty clean um but the reason I am showing you guys that it is a stock car is it is going to stay a stock 392. Um, this car is not meant for racing. Yes, she wants to go fast, but we're actually going to get something else that's going to help her go a lot faster, a lot quicker and keep this for her kind of daily driving aspect. Now, biggest thing, what I can tell you when it comes to this car is it is the best bang for your buck as far as looks, speed, and then horsepower per dollar, you guys. So if you're in the market for one, yes, they're a little, little, little high, especially the wide bodies right now, but it's definitely the best bang. Now that I have introduced to you Bambi, in a sense, we're gonna talk about what I have planned for this car specifically from my point of view. Now, the wrap and everything else will be all hers. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I have no say so in that, that is totally hers. Um, she is going to my wrap shop, Atlantic Wraps, over in Charlotte, North Carolina. They take care of all of my cars. Now they're taking care of hers. Um, but I want to discuss wheels, brakes, engine mods, interior, and everything else that I have planned for her vehicle. So I mentioned earlier in the video that I hate this style rim that they put on the wide body. I think it's the worst style rim that is out there. Um, but it, it is also the most common that is out there. So what we are going to do, and this is a me thing she doesn't even know. She doesn't even watch my videos, so it doesn't matter, right? Um, we're gonna be going a black Ferrada. You guys know I have the CM2s. I am gonna also throw on the CM2s in black um, with the black chrome lip on these. We are gonna do 20s. I don't wanna go anything bigger than that. Um, and I'm gonna drop it down an inch and a half. You can see <clears throat> the gap is crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go put her on some lowering springs um, just so it sits and sits a little bit more flush. Um, and then of course, we're gonna change the brake caliper colors either to a solid white like on the front here 
or I'm gonna let her choose based on the color of the wrap that she goes with. Make sure you stay tuned to her Instagram. If you know, you know I'm not dropping it anywhere, but if you know. Secondly, <clears throat> we're gonna change out the intake. I hate how this stock intake looks, so it's just more for looks. It's not gonna add any power. Of course, we're gonna go a leg maker true cold air intake. And then two, what I want to do is something she should have done a long time ago is an oil catch can. So I'm gonna reach out to my guys at Billet Technology um, and allow her to choose the color um, based on, again, the wrapper, the accents color, accent color that she wants to go with. Um, now, <clears throat> she wants to start racing. She wants to be a little bit faster. Is this the motor to do it with? Eh, not so much. Um, but I am going to allow her to choose if she wants to go E85 or not in this car to kind of get a little bit more umph out of the car, just like on mine. Um, but I'll have to teach her how to do all of those things. But she's very intelligent. She'll get that pretty quickly. So now, again, basic things. Intake, E85, oil catch can, rims. Now, the wrap, from the ideas that she has given me, have been and You guys, I have no say-so in the wrap. It's hers. She went crazy on the first one. Pretty sure she's gonna go crazy on the second one but if you are new to the channel and have never seen a 2020 wide body scat pack i'm actually gonna get in the car drive it around a little bit show you the drive mode show you the difference between my 1320 and her scat so pack. obviously the first difference is it's a charger not a challenger it has four doors four doors more horse right but another big difference is the amount of space that is in this car is ridiculous weird having seats and space you guys know in my car i literally have one seat or the front two seats and nothing else or strictly my race seat but i'm gonna dive into the srt pages because i don't i don't have those so i, I had to learn right, you guys so we're gonna go to the drive modes button here and you can see you have drive modes performance page performance pages race options it's currently in auto which is normally eco mode we're gonna go into track of course you can see that and right now the level is unable to change because i'm actually working on the car don't worry about that right now but you have track sport custom which is probably what you drive or what she drives around on and then of course eco mode right so your custom one thing i learned is if you turn the car on and hit drive mode it automatically puts you in custom which is your specific drive mode which is crazy um, but we are gonna ride around and track for a little bit. Performance pages, something that is a little bit different on the Scat Pack, um, like the, the original Scat Pack versus 1320s. <clears throat> Again, are the drive modes. I have drag mode in default or regular, that's it. All the rest of these are the exact same um, because they come from a Hellcat, so your dyno, G-Force, gauges, all of those things are the same, right? Then you have some race options here where yes, she does have line lock. 2020, 2020 and above does have line lock. You have a launch control, which I haven't found that works. If you don't have a trans brake like the 1320, it's not gonna hold you in a place. A lot of these cars spin trying to get out anyways. So then of course you have a shift light, which is pretty cool. Um, this is something that my car does not have. Um, and then of course your optioned out 392 badge versus my 1320. Um, and again, it's nice super super clean she does have the scat logo i have no scat logo um but it is what it is we are gonna go for a ride i have it in track mode so you guys can hear it um hopefully you guys can hear it um and track mode definitely makes this car jumpy um i've been in a bunch of cars um and i've always kind of found it funny that track mode in a scat pack makes the car way more jumpy than track mode in a hellcat to be honest with you um but that's just me and my personal feelings but i mean you can step on the gas and the car is extremely loud by the way like it's kind of kind of crazy um all she has is a muffler delete nothing else uh, her car definitely sounds different um dealership on the lot whatever term you want to use of course we had a gas you guys <laughs> 
<laughs> um, that's another thing if you guys don't know about scat packs 6.4s every new it's gonna need gas like every 30 minutes but there you have it all right you guys so you guys have kind of been a short welcome to the 2020 wide body charger and welcoming it to the channel um but I can't wait to get started on everything for this car, man. Um, she definitely deserves to have it done. Um, she's been working super hard. Um, so stay tuned for all the mods on that. And lastly, what's going on with Toro? Why haven't I been racing? What's up? Biggest thing I can tell you is there is a huge change with the car. Um, so I can't wait to bring that to you. Uh, I can't wait to start racing more. Um, but also there's gonna be a huge huge addition um, to the channel so just stay tuned man you guys know everything 1320 happens right here and we are out